Okay, guys, a new video is now going live, private to public. Testing the world's best bee sponge. Is it true or is it false? I actually got a lot of requests from you guys. I'm going to publish, sorry. To review this cake and bake sponge from Veramona. So, something went wrong. Oh, bitch, no, it did not. There we go, it's working now. <laughs> so, I'm testing this little square beauty sponge. Because you guys, a lot of you guys tweeted me about this, so check it out. And if you're from the Snapchat fam, leave a little purple emoji. Any purple emoji works because the sponge is purple. <laughs> Reply to some comments right now, you guys, because you guys are the fucking best. I haven't been this early since Manny matched his neck with foundation. I've never been this early. Well, JC, you little bitch. I see those purple emojis, guys. I see you. My amazing Snapchat fam. Let me go like them because you guys are the fucking best. Hey. Ew. The show can be really brutal sometimes. I was not expecting to see that. I was in Ross Snap. What I was going to say before I was so freakishly freaked out by Walt sucking gasoline through his mouth, that like freaks me out so much. It just looks so nasty. Was that I really love how Jesse says bitch. <laughs> he says it in such a like intense conviction kind of way. It's so funny. So you guys, do you guys remember how about a week and a half ago I reviewed the mermaid tail brushes on my channel? So I got a lot of comments that the one I reviewed is actually a dupe. So I went out and bought the original from Mermaid Salon. This is the original Mermaid Tail Brush that is like first created. And I can actually already tell the difference in the bristles that they are much more compact and much nicer than the other one I tried. Ooh, no offense to the other brand. This brand is from Australia and it's called Mermaid Salon if you guys want to check it out. The original Mermaid Tail Brush and this feels really nice. I can't wait to try it out. Yeah. I shut my eyes for two seconds and I wake up at 9.30 at night. <laughs> what? I just posted a photo on the gram, you guys. Go check it out and leave a little devil emoji because bitch was sealing herself. <laughs> Five fucking hours? I guess I'm not sleeping tonight. The reason I overslept? That one right there. This one right there. Yeah, it was you. You keep me cuddly, that's why. How are you gonna let me oversleep like that? How? Her little ears flopped over. She's like, fuck. Does this ever happen to you guys when you wake up from a nap and you're so, like, thrown off that you're like, what day is it? What time is it? What year is it? What city am I in? She thinks she's like 100 pounds and a mean doggy. Give me this. Give me this. It's mine. It's mine. <laughs> you really want... Oh, oh! Oh! Come on, let's play. Yeah, my good. Okay, you... Oh, shit! The bone's too big for you, Chronicles, part two. Part two. No, I can't. It's disgusting. I forget that she likes to eat her snacks on me, so right now she just came up in here so she can eat her bone on my arm. But I love it that she does that. <laughs> Do you see her little ass? She's eating a bone on my fucking cheeks. Zaya, get off. crawling on my shoulder and I just killed it right now because it freaked me out like this. Was it worth it, Bug? To crawl on me? Was it worth your death? Probably not. I slept for so fucking long. I had several REM cycles, I'm sure. I'm a little delusional. <laughs> I had dinner plans tonight, but they were canceled yet again. <laughs> so, today's just been a day full of fucking rest. Which was nice because I feel like I've needed it after coming back from the UK. Usually I get back so normally from jet lag, like it's not too hard. But right now, I feel like I've been struggling because we were in the UK for a week. And that time change of eight hours is rough for me. 
So I feel like my body slept for five hours because I actually needed the sleep, you know? So it's not, I'm not too mad about it, but I'm just like, fuck, I have DragCon tomorrow. Like, I need to go to sleep. For those of you guys asking, I don't have a set meet and greet for DragCon. I'm just going to be getting there around like two-ish with Laura and just hanging out and doing our thing. Probably head over to Jeffrey's booth later on as well. And we have a panel at 6 p.m. Me, Laura, Bretman, and Patrick are all doing a panel. So it's going to be a fun panel. I'm really, really, really excited. So if you guys are at DragCon and you guys end up staying till the end, it's kind of late for a fucking panel. I was like, really? That's late as fuck? But if you guys end up staying, might want to just stop by and say what's up. Well, shit. Time for some drag race. Out, See y'all girls out. tomorrow. That wing on RuPaul is so right. Bitch, when it's right, it is right.